G'day guys, welcome to Styro Chat. We're back. And today we're gonna to be talking about uh, one of our new products. This is Styro Door Slide. So you can see it works quite effectively. So firstly, let's look at what is it? Well, it's a, uh, it's a sliding door assembly. Um, pretty much the same as you're gonna find in your household. Um, I've developed it uh, using household um, items, so it keeps it uh, standard as far as that goes, uh, so to speak. Next up is why. Why did we do it? Well, uh, probably the biggest advantage of it is the space saver, as opposed to a uh, typical swinging door, which uh, obviously means as the door swings around, you actually lose that space. So with a slider, it can uh, just simply slide uh, parallel to the panel that uh, where the opening is. Okay, so now we move on to how. How do we do it? Well, uh, we do it firstly by cutting an aperture in your composite panel. So the dividing wall will have an aperture. You can have, have it on uh, either end or in the middle. Um, however, what you do need to remember is if you're gonna have it in the middle, you're gonna need the space of your door either side of that cutout. So you've got uh, the room to actually fully open the door, whichever way you decide to go. Now, continuing on with how we do it. Um, okay, so where the, um, the sliding system attaches to your panel, I actually put some 25 mil pine inside the panel. Now that's gonna give it a solid core uh, in the area where the sliding assembly screws to and glues and then also down at the slider down at the bottom there's a tiny little bit of plywood put in there so that's a solid attachment as well and then uh, also where the flush mount handles go I've got uh, a little bit of plywood inside the panel so its assembly is uh, very similar to your household um, and it just uh, it allows for uh, greater strength and durability. Okay, so uh, further to this, and one thing to remember is that when we cut the hole in your aperture, we can't use the panel that came out of it because it's too small. Um, the door obviously has to be bigger than the aperture. Um, so just bear that in mind that an another sort of panel would have to be manufactured beside the uh, internal wall, but um, just uh, remember that the billet is yours, so try and uh, design some other little parts that we can cut out of that for you. So where can you use one of these? Well, probably the most obvious place would be the um, toilet or shower, um, but you could also use this as a divider room if it was a toy hauler and you had your toy in the back and um, you're living in the front or whichever way um, and you can close off the two areas. Okay, let's have a look at what's in the kit. So there's two parts to this kit. So I'll start with the main part first, which is the same across the board. So you get uh, the 2.4 meter long aluminum extrusion. Okay, you will also get two four wheeled assemblies that slide inside the extrusion. You will get a nylon door guide which you discard um, i think it's a bit weak so i've got an aluminium one you'll get two door stops these are important these are pretty cool so these actually uh, screw into the extrusion and the door actually locks into the clips so when you open it it locks in when you close it it locks in so there's no need for any external latches right so what else you do you get you get a couple of meters of the door end foam tape. Now what that one does, if you do have it going up against a wall, you put that um, foam tape down the edge, it just closes on the foam seal, stops scratching and it'll stop rattling. This one here is a couple of meters of the foam strip for the back of the door. This one's optional. Um, there is a slight little gap at the back of the door by design. Um, you can either seal that up with the foam tape or you can leave it off if you wish to allow the room to breathe a little bit. Okay, so 
you will get the aluminium sliding rail for down the bottom. That one replaces the nylon one. I don't think the nylon one will last long. Uh, you'll also get four countersunk screws to replace the screws that come in that kit. Uh, you'll also get four rivets. That's for attaching the wheels. And you'll get a 3D printed drilling and mounting jig. This one's really important. So we'll talk about that one a bit later on. You get a couple of six mil bolts, you discard those. You get some uh, plastic end caps, um, two of them. If your door is in the middle, you'd use both. If your extrusion is up against a wall, like so, you'd only use one cap, which would be the open end. You get some um, white headed screws, uh, keep those. You'll need about four or five of those to uh, assemble this. Uh, you get some zinc plated bolts, they can be discarded, and four Phillips head um, countersunk screws, they can be discarded as well. And you get an 8mm and 10mm adjusting spanner. Pretty important this one. I know we've all got 8mm and 10mm spanners, but this one's thin. So you're going to need that uh, later to adjust your door. Of course, you get a set of instructions from the manufacturer. Um, you can go by this a little bit, but some things are slightly different, so you'd be best to discard them and just refer to our instructions. Okay, so that's what's in the main kit. Now, uh, further to this, you can choose either black or white trim, right? So you order the door kit in either black or white, okay? So what that means is you'll get two lengths of the Styro Cap LT if you decide white, or you'll get two lengths of Styro Cap LT again in black if you choose black. Now of course that's enough trim that's going to typically uh, cap the door and the doorway, whether it be uh, two sides or three. Uh, and then at that point, you also get to choose your handles, whether you want black or whether you want uh, brushed, a brushed satin look. Right. Now with the color change that you can do for your trimming, unfortunately, the, um, the pelmet is only available in white. All right, let's talk about uh, this plastic um, guide that we discard. Uh, the reason for this is that the guide that comes in the kit is designed um, for doors with a bottom groove. Now, um, because our door is capped in aluminium, we don't do that. So that's why you get um, this sliding kit here, which is designed for doors without bottom groove. So that um, aluminium kit there cups the door on both sides. Okay, so let's talk in some more finer detail about the 3D printed um, drilling jig and assembly jig and why we have to use it. Right, so because we're not using the um, plastic guide that comes with the door, if it was um, center cut through the bottom of the door like your household typically would be, uh, because we're not utilizing that system, and we're utilizing the aluminium guide that cups both sides of the door, which is stronger. Now, because we're using that, that offsets the door away from the extrusion to some degree. So that means we have to, we, we, can't, we can't center hang our door, so to speak. We've got to offset it slightly because what I'm trying to achieve as well is a nice gap between the door and the uh, doorway because I don't obviously want any scratching there taking place or rubbing and I'm sure you don't either. So uh, what I've come up with um, is a 3D printed jig. Uh, I can quickly show you how this works. It'll be more detailed on our assembly video that'll be up on YouTube. But basically, um, if you have a door panel that I've crudely sort of capped on one end, um, 
and then basically you'll just follow the instructions. Um, this has got wall side on both sides of it, A and B. So an A side and a B side and an arrow. Again, that's all detailed in our instructions, but I'll quickly show you uh, how it works. Right, so you've got your door panel. Okay, now let's say I'm the wall side, so I'm the side that it's hanging on. Um, so you'd get your jig, you'd place it down over the edge of the capping, like so. There's two little holes here, you'd just mark those off. Um, okay, so you've drilled the holes that you've uh, previously marked. You'd uh, remove the wheels from the bracket, like so. Okay, so you place your bracket over your holes. You'd slide the jig so the slot cups the bracket. And what that will do, that will hold the bracket in the correct place while you get your uh, riveter and you rivet the first hole on. So that'll make sure that it doesn't move out of position um, before, you, before the rivet um, grabs hold. So um, because the bracket is slotted, so it can also move side to side and we don't want that. So um, that's what this does, right? So, and then of course, once you've done that side, you've got to do the other end. So that's as simple as just flipping the, the, um, the jig over, putting it on the end of your capping, same as the other side, mark the holes, pull it up, drill it, take your wheels off again, and then you use the um, slotted guide to locate that before you rivet it off. And that will put those wheels in the correct position. Okay, so that just about wraps it up for styro door slide. Um, so if you're interested in utilizing a sliding door in your build, just let us know. Um, what are the main things to think about? Um, probably the main uh, big one is if you're having the slider, say in the middle of a wall, you've got to make sure you've got enough room either side of it to slide the door. Um, so, because the door is obviously oversized slightly to the, um, to the doorway. Um, so that's probably the biggest consideration of it, to be honest. Um, and then of course, what color do you want it? See you next time.